Assalamualaikum and hi to my student. Okay, today we learn a new topic in multiplication. But before we go through in the multiplication topic, today I want to learn a basic fact about multiplication. Okay, the first thing you must know in multiplication is about grouping. Okay, okay. grouping. So I have star here. So how many star we have here? One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I have 14 star here. So now let's we put this star in group. So one group of star. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 group of star. So each group of star we have 2 star here. Okay. Each group we have two star. Okay, everyone can see. So each group we have two star here. So now how to write the sentence for this grouping question? For example, you can put like this: seven group of two. Okay, seven groups mean we have seven group here. Okay, twos mean we have two star in each group. I repeat, seven groups mean seven group here. Two mean two star in each group. Understand? Very easy. So next slide. Okay, I have star here. Okay, let's we put the star in a group. One group of star, two group, three group of star. Okay. So, we have three group of false. Three groups stand for three group we have here. False means we have four star in each group. I repeat, three groups stand for three group of star here. Four stand for four star in each group. Okay, next slide. I have unicorn. So let me put this unicorn in group. So one group of unicorn, two group of unicorn, three group of unicorn, four group of unicorn, and we have four group of unicorn here. And each group I have one, two, three, four, five. In each group I have five unicorn. Okay, in each group, I have five unicorns. Okay, now let's we put in a sentence. The sentence will be like this: four group of five. Four groups stand for four group of unicorn here. Five stand for five unicorn in each group. Very easy, right? So next slide. Repeated addition in multiplication. Okay. Now, let me explain to you what is repeated addition in multiplication. For the basic one, I still using the picture to make you understand better. So, I have a paintbrush here. Lot of paintbrush. So, let me put the paintbrush in group. One group of paintbrush. Two group of paintbrush. Three group. And four group of paintbrush. So how many paintbrush in one group? So we have three paintbrush in each group. Okay. Look carefully. Three paintbrush in each group. And I have four of paintbrush here. So now let me show you the example number sentence for repeated addition. The number sentence will be like this. 3 plus 3 plus 3 and plus 3, the answer will be 12. 12 means the total of paintbrush we have here all together. Okay, let me check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So my answer is 12 here. Okay, how to put the answer in a multiplication sentence? The answer will be like this. 4 times 3 equals to 12. 
But teacher, why I cannot put 3 times 4? The still same answer, right? So, I tell you, listen carefully. In multiplication, the group we must put in front. The group we must put in front. I repeat again, the group you must put in front. So, 4 stand for 4 group of paintbrush. 3 stand for 3 paintbrush in each group and 12 stand for total of paintbrush we have here all together. I repeat again, 4 stand for 4 group of paintbrush. 3 stand for 3 number of paintbrush in each group. 12 stand for total paintbrush that we have here all together. Understand? Okay, next. Like I have eggs. Okay, how many eggs here? So I have eggs that already put in the carton. Okay, so I have one carton, two carton, three, four, five, six, seven, eight carton of egg here all together. So each carton we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So in in each carton we have six of x so the number sentence for repeated addition will be like this so and the number sentence for the multiplication will be like this 8 times 6 equal to 48 you must remember again 8 stand for 8 group of carton 6 stand for 6 X in each group and 48 stand for the total of X we have here all together. I repeat again, 8 stand for 8 group of X, 6 stand for 6 X in each group and 48 stand for the total of X that we have here all together. Okay, the next slide will be like this. I have a chicken and I put the chicken in a group. One group of chicken, two group of chicken, three group of chicken, four, five, and six group of chicken. So, what number should I put here? Is there I to put chicken? Okay, the number should be like this. Two. Two means Two chicken in each group. So this one is settled. Okay, we settle already here. Okay, we we can cross. Okay, and then we put another two here. So here also finish. Put another two, another two here. Finish. Put another two. Put another number two, and then we put another number two. So no picture to to. To make a line here. Okay. So we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 group of chicken. And each group we have 2 chicken. The total of chicken we have here is. 12. We have 12 chicken here all together. So in number sentence for multiplication will be like this. 6 times 2 equals to 12. 6 stand for each group. Okay. 3, 4. Five, six group of chicken. Two means for two chicken in each group. Okay. Now we go to the balls. I have balls here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen of balls here. Okay. Let's we put this ball in each group. One group, two group, three group. 4 group of ball, 5, 6, and 7 group of balls here. So the number should I put here is number 2 because in each group we have 2 balls here. So this one finished already. So this one done, done, finish, 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 and finish. So the total answer will be. 14. We have 14 balls here all together. Okay, let's we check whether 14 is correct or not. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we have 14 balls here all together. Okay. Okay. Now we put the number sentence for this ball. 7 times 2 equals to 14. 7 stands for 7 group of balls. Okay. Very easy. 7 group. 2 means 2 balls in each group. 14 is the total of ball we have here all together. So next slide I have. So next slide I have this one. I have a butterfly. Okay. I'm sorry. I have a butterfly. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 9 butterflies in each group. So we have three group of butterfly and nine butterflies in each group and we have 27 of butterfly here all together. I repeat, we have three group of butterfly, nine butterfly for each group and we have 27 butterfly here all together. Okay? So the answer will be 3 times 9 equal to 12. So let's we check our answer is correct or not. 3 stand for group. So correct. 9 stand for 9 butterflies in each group. So correct. So 27 is the total. So next line I have a fish. So I have how many group? 1 group, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10 group of fish. So, I must put what number here? Whether 3 or 10? Huh? 3 or 10. So, I put 10 because we have 10 group of fish here. So, and then put 3 fish in each group. Okay? Each group we have 3 fish and then the total will be 30. Okay? So, the answer will be 10 times 3 equals to 30. Okay. 10 stand for 3, uh, 10 group of fish. Okay. Very easy to understand this topic. Make sure you pay attention. Eh? So, 10 group of fish. Okay. Next one. After you listen my lesson, I want to you to answer all questions in quizzes. And after you answer all questions, the marks will be given. Okay.